House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff said Wednesday that President Trump is acting like an organized crime figure if he pardons former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. The California Democrat said during a so called cable news network interview, It just, frankly, reflects so ill on our democracy, on the United States. Imagine what people around the world think when we have a president that's acting like an organized crime figure. Mr. Schiff continued, But this is who Donald Trump is. It's who he was on the way into the presidency. It will be exactly who he is on his last days of the presidency. On Wednesday, Axios reported that President Trump has told confidants that he intends to pardon Flynn as part of a series of pardons before he leaves office in January. Flynn twice pleaded guilty to lying to the Federal Bureau of Investigation about his contacts with Russia's former ambassador to the United States during the transition period. Flynn later recanted his guilty plea and professed his innocence, saying he was the victim of FBI and prosecutorial malfeasance. The Justice Department earlier this year sought to drop the charges against Flynn but has met stern resistance from United States District Judge Emmett Sullivan, who is overseeing the criminal case. An appeals court upheld Judge Sullivan's efforts to keep the case alive. Incoming Assistant House Speaker Catherine Clark said Wednesday it is long past time for Congress to pass another coronavirus relief package, arguing that lawmakers on Capitol Hill cannot overspend in their push to help cash strapped families and businesses. Mrs. Clark, in an interview on Morning Joe, cited Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell's recent assertion that the nation needs more stimulus spending. The Massachusetts Democrat said, We have to recognize that, from the words of their own Federal Reserve head, we cannot invest enough in the American people at this time. We cannot overspend in helping them to recover. Mrs. Clark said that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who has opposed the spending levels included in the Democrats' relief plan, has continued to ignore the need for more stimulus. She said, We are not in a negotiation here over a used car or a house. We are talking about lives. Mrs. Clark said, We have to get this relief out. We have to get this relief out.